Hello there. Making this video about this issue that you might run across at some point where you lose your controller settings. So I'm going to start off here. I'm, I'm in Visual Studio Code, but just pull up your right here. So I'm in File Explorer. You go to your config, your input folder, and then this is where all your modules, all the controls for your modules are at, right here. So, like, it's wherever your user is. So, users, then your name, then save game, DCS, config, input. And then within that folder, there's a DCS log. So, you got to make sure you start up DCS at least once after you notice this issue. And you can see it's reporting all the, all the GUIDs. These are called GUIDs, by the way. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing this, pronouncing this correctly, but it comes from programming where they are very long IDs. So Windows is, has an ID for each controller. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I'm kind of getting over the Rona. <laughs> so anyways here. Each device has its own unique GUID. Okay, so, and this can change. So, like, if you maybe you like in my case, I reinstall Windows. It was getting slow and and dirty. You know, it was running bad. So that that's what happened to me. So all my IDs changed at once. So. And so when you look at your log file, you'll see what Windows is telling DCS. Um, the new IDs is coming in. So, so what I want to do is talk about possible solutions. Now, there might be a way where you can go inside your registry. I haven't figured that out. I, but I checked the registry, the Windows registry. I can figure out a way to change this ID, but maybe there's some program to change the ID back to what it was before. And, but anyways, let's look at the config folder. Cause if you're not familiar, like let's look at the F18, right? So we're going to go to joystick and this is what they're in Lua files, which is a uh, scripting language. But in any case, um, you can see the GUID right here. And so for you, you might, I've already fixed the problem on my end, but for you, you might have like an incorrect GUID here. So let's talk about possible solutions. One way which might not be good for people is, it depends. I don't know, you have to be a little bit programmer savvy to do it this way where Basically, I took a Python. I just grabbed a Python script and I'll have I'll, I'll put this I'll put the script down there in the video description or whatever so you can grab this script and just paste it. But basically, like I just dropped this Python script into my DCS root folder. Again, this is, you know, where your DCS, wherever you have your DCS installed. And I just put it here. And then all I'm going to do is recursively go through every folder and rename it back. So that was my old ID here. And it's going to get renamed with the new. Because it's a pain, like the more modules you have you know, the more painful it is if you try and do this manually. But that is another option. If you don't want to mess around with programming, then you can do it that way. Now, let me just show you right quick. This is where I grabbed the script from. Because Python, I don't do this daily. Sometimes I do it at my job, but it's, it's pretty rare. So anyways, it, it was, it, it came in handy just grabbing a script from the site and all it is it just recursively walks through your directory and renames the files 
And here, this is Python. Um, you can come to this Python site. For me, this is the latest version of Python that I was able to download. So I just downloaded this and installed it. There's, there's a whole bunch of options when you install it, but actually, actually, no, 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 for Python, sorry, you're fine, you're fine. I was thinking about Git. <laughs> but in any case, for Python, you're fine. Just go ahead and install Python, let it, let it, uh, just make sure when you install it, just make sure you tell it it's okay to include it in your path. There's a checkbox at the bottom when you install it. And yeah, so um, what you're going to want to do is, like for me, these are my devices here. I, I probably didn't mention, like I have a gunfighter, that's my controller, that's my stick. I use a gunfighter. Um, and a throttle, this is my verbal throttle here. And this is my um, rudder pedals here. I think this is my um, this is my verbal verbal rudder pedals. Okay, so I made a quick little change actually to the script because the tutorial script they wasn't checking for if the file was already there in case you run the script again in the same folder. And any and so in any case this. I resolved that issue so so in any case I also wanted to go over an example here like running the script so so here I'm in a terminal here I'm, I'm running Visual Studio Code by the way but you don't have to install Visual Studio Code just to do this you can just use any terminal like bash or PowerShell if you have that installed like there's Windows PowerShell usually you just you know you can just come in here and so let's just do this since not everybody's gonna have Visual Studio Code and then we're gonna go DCS alright so here's where I have my script which you can see it here and that's that's just where I put my script and this is like Python. You can make sure you have it installed by using the version. So you see my version there. We're going to go rename. We're going to run it. And so see, it renamed, it renamed it into what I wanted. This is what it's going to rename it to. So, and that's pretty much it. When you go run DCS, all your controls should be there.